Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Literary Lights, the Associates of the Boston Public Library's annual tribute to outstanding New England writers and fundraiser for conservation of the library's most important historic, artistic, cultural, and literary treasures. We owe great thanks to newcomer Amy Ryan, the library's new president. Amy, please do stand up and wave so people know who you are. I am honored to join you all in celebrating Tobin Anderson as a 2009 Literary Light. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we were told, the authors were told not to speak, which is good for us and even better for you. So. Um, but I do want to thank you, and not just for this honor, but also um, as a patron of the BPL, of the Boston Public Library, someone who did a lot of research there, who spent many hours in the rare books room looking at, you know, 18th century tactical manuals and things, which you are, um, you are going to, you know, your money is going to help uh, to uh, protect those books and to make them available to patrons like myself. So thank you so much for that and so much for this, and have a great dinner. If I may say, these are precisely the qualities of Andy Basevich, and it's a great honor to present him to this dinner. Thanks very much. Uh, it's a great honor. It's especially a great honor to stand in the company of such, un such other a wonderful, wonderful writers. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Robert. Nicholson Baker is not only a fabulous novelist, he's also a good citizen in the Republic of Letters. So I want to thank him for his generous remarks, thanks that come from one of his fans and devoted readers. And I also want to thank the Boston Public Library. I think you'll agree that the Boston Public Library chose a wonderful artist when they sent us Major Jackson. I know this is a Tiffany box, but I'm really hoping there's some Red Sox tickets in there. So. <laughs> there's no greater honor than to be recognized by one's peers, and not just one's peers and one's genre, but it's a really honor to be among uh, the other writers here tonight, so I want to thank them. And the fact that it's coming from a library is quite meaningful. Um, I grew up in North Philadelphia, and I took great refuge in libraries in my neighborhood. And when I worked as an accountant here in Boston for a construction company, at the end of the day, I went to the Boston Public Library. So thank you for giving me refuge. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's great journalists, Sebastian Younger. Hi there, thank you. I was, I was told I, was, I would be allowed to ramble on for up to a minute, and I won't, I won't even do that, but I do want to thank the Boston Public Library. Uh, when I was researching my last book, a lot of the research took place here. They were incredibly helpful, wonderful, wonderful institution. Uh, and I also, I live in New York now. I've been there since 1996, uh, but I grew up outside of Boston and uh, journalism, writing is my life, it's my passion. 
I expect it always will be, and it's an incredible pleasure and honor to come back to my hometown and be honored like this. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. I'm not exactly sure how Jackie Michard found the time to be here tonight, but we're very glad she did. My seven children do not know that after I, what they call whatever, um, my estate, the dollar 380 that will be left at that point, is in trust, the American Library Association. Maria, you are some teacher and some writer. You are radiant, brilliant, beautiful, and loyal. Come on up. <laughs> I'm completely thrilled, and I have to tell you that my prose sounds so much better when it's channeled through Kathy. Uh, I've enjoyed having, seeing her in my class, and I feel that there's such a powerful cocktail of emotions that has been released tonight in seeing people like Bob Darnton, who inspired much of my work on the fairy tales, and uh, all of you. I spent so many happy hours in the library as a child, and I always alternated between books that were fun and books that were good for you. Um, I'm afraid I've written a book that is more on the good for you side, uh, but I have enjoyed reading the books of my fellow honorands, and thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to present this evening's keynote speaker, the one and only David McCullough. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, one and all. I love one particular old royal standard typewriter uh, upon which I have written all my books. I, it was manufactured in 1940, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. <laughs> we should all know and remember and tell other people in Boston, because so few people understand, that the Boston Public Library is one of the five greatest libraries in America. What you do, what all of you are doing, when you come to a dinner like this, when you contribute not just your money but your interest, your respect and appreciation for the Boston Public Library is of infinite value. Got to keep it that way, and we got to pass it on even better than the way it was when we all started. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you again for coming, and I hope we'll see you again next year.